Uh, Martin, always good to see you. The last time we spoke, you did indicate that the SPAC market uh, was getting frothy. Now, you did make the point it was in the U.S., and I know this is U.K.-based, but it is still somewhat surprising to see you back in even when you did seem to have some reservations. Why? Well, you know, I, have, I can't overemphasize uh, what I do is very different from the U.S. spec model. So I'm not really looking for the same kind of, of opportunities. Mine are maybe a little more mundane. Uh, I'm trying to buy, buy very profitable businesses, market leaders in their markets, great management teams, not necessarily story stocks and, and high growth if you like, almost business plan uh, opportunities. That's what's going on in the back market in the US today. Um, and what I do is much more fundamental, so it's very different. It's much more like a private equity house would do or, or a corporate strategic. So, um, you know, I'm gonna raise probably about $750 million, maybe more through, uh, through, a, uh, through Harvester. It'll be uh, in partnership with Viking Global, um, who will, I think, our largest investors in, uh, in J2, which was the company that bought API Group. Um, API put out earnings this morning. The business is doing uh, tremendously well. Um, stock's up somewhere between 40 and 50% since we started. Um, so we're very happy with the trajectory of that business, very well-run business, and really the same kind of thing that I hope to do with Harvester. Um, Martin, there are differences between the so-called rules for SPACs in the UK uh, and the US. It, um, simply put, I think in the UK, holders have fewer rights, don't they? Uh, which may be an advantage to you, but perhaps a disadvantage to them. Well, it's actually an advantage to the investor because if you want to buy quality companies, telling somebody you want to buy their business for two or three billion dollars, but you have to run around to maybe get the vote, perhaps you have the money and perhaps you don't. Um, that's not that's I call that faux capitalism, not to be too harsh on it. But, you know, at the end of the day, I do have the money to buy something or you don't. And when you go into serious conversations with companies that have choices, having that uncertainty is a gating item. And, you know, in my opinion, um, that has actually driven U.S. SPACs sometimes to do deals that I would call suboptimal. I know this from experience. I, the first three SPACs, I've, I've deployed, I think, $8 billion or so of equity in, in different vehicles over the last decade, um, who were really the pioneers of what, what became... Uh, the more institutionalized scale SPAC business. Um, but, you know, it, when you, if you can't deliver certainty, uh, there is a echelon of companies that you cannot find, which at the end of the day is the detriment to investors. I do it this way. It's actually much easier to raise capital in America. I do it in the harder way because, quite frankly, it's better for investors. Do you think there's a risk then, uh, Martin, that we could see, given just this onslaught of SPACs raising money right now, uh, a lot of subpar deals kind of come to fruition um, as this frenzy kind of plays itself out? You know this is going to end badly. It always does. It's the same as it's as old as time. So, you know, at the end of the day, when you're you're you have an overcrowded field, um, too many people raising these vehicles chasing the same kind of things. And, you know, you have companies that have no, no earnings, no profits, uh, and, you know, and their stocks are flying. You know the end. It's, it's the same as 2000. There's, you could read a book called Devil Take the Hindmost. We'll give you all the history. It's all there. So, you know, um, the difference is, I think, that not that many people are going to get hurt by this, other than, you know, the actual companies that completed transactions. The nice thing about U.S. SPACs is, is you know, when the tide turns, the the deals that haven't been done, everybody will get their money back.